Welcome back everybody to Just Keep Parenting. Thank you for continuing to join and and listen and um, think and reflect upon your parenting and um, your times with children. Um, as most of you know, I don't have children of my own and, um, and have been working with children for over 30 years and so uh, children are children really are my life even though I don't have those of my own so we're going to talk today about new babies um, if you're having a new baby how can you help your older child um, or other children understand and um, validate their feelings right and so mr. Rogers has lots to say about um, the new baby right um, I love his introduction here where he says we were so excited to tell our three-year-old about the new baby who was to be born into the family she caught us completely off guard when she asked, who will be that baby's mommy? I guess she was telling us she needed lots of reassurances that we'd still be her mother and father and that we'd still love her even after the baby was born. So one of the things that I love about this is, right, there's always a firstborn, right? And so it's usually a triangle, right? We have the mommy and the daddy and the, and the firstborn. And sometimes when that firstborn feels like there's a new baby or knows that there's a new baby coming, right, the old baby feels pushed out of the triangle. And so we have to help that old baby, that firstborn, understand that the triangle is not a triangle anymore, right? It's become a new shape and he or she is still a part of that new shape. Recognizing that it's hard to share, right? Children don't share well. We, we try and try and try to teach them. But it really doesn't come on board until um, age six and seven, right? And so <clears throat> one of the things that we have to recognize is any baby, whether adopted or born into a family, is going to cause some, um, some issues with sharing. Um, I just love how Mr. Rogers accepts the fact that it's when he says, at any age, it's hard to share the people we love. Right? Even as an adult, sometimes it's hard to share those that you love with somebody else. And so recognizing that as, as parents, that this is going to be a hard time for our children. Um, sometimes parents think, oh, there's no jealousy. My child just loves, just loves them, right? But sometimes we're not giving them enough credit because he goes on to say, love can be mixed with jealousy. Sometimes children are afraid that their parents might stop loving them if they show any negative feelings. What a relief it can be for a child to know that it's all right to be angry, sad, upset, or grumpy, all the while hearing that it's not all right to hurt the baby or anyone else. So we need to make sure that the children recognize that we love them even when they're experiencing difficult feelings. Um, sometimes the parents will say to me, so why is my child doing this? I mean, they're sucking their thumb. We've gone back in bathroom issues. That's because they're acting like a baby right because the baby's getting all of the attention and so if I act like the baby and do baby like things then I'm gonna get more attention so recognizing that that's very typical that's very normal for children to do um, how much easier would it be if our children could say to us I'm really mad that you've brought home another baby wasn't I good enough for you it feels like no one pays any more attention to me but young children aren't able to use the words to tell us how they're feeling, right? They don't have that online yet. They can only feel it and then try to find some ways to let those feelings out, which is why they're acting like a baby. He goes on and he talks about parents' ambivalent feelings. Sometimes we're nervous. Like, am I going to be able to take care of another child with the ones that I already, the one or the ones that I already have, right? There again, he talks about how this is so normal. Right? And knowing that these feelings are normal can help us get through the hard times. Um, recognizing that um, it takes several months right, for children to recognize and get used to the new baby. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. It's going to take several months. Hugs and loving works can go a long way in helping your older children through those hard times. Then he talks also about taking care of yourself as the parent, right? recognizing that um, when you uh, have lack of sleep in your life, that sometimes your emotional and then your emotions can be rough and as well as the hormone changes that are going on in your body. And so recognize and give yourself a pass go to have a sleep right when the baby's sleeping or um, doing those things that can help you feel better about what's happening. 
he goes on and he talks about the helpful hints. This is my favorite part of his book. But he talks about how before the baby arrives, right, what are some things that we need to do? And one of the things he talks about, which I don't think I've ever thought about, is not is tell, waiting as long as you can to tell that older child that you're going to have a baby just because time means nothing to children. Right? We talk about it in sleeps rather than in days because days don't mean anything, but they do feel like, okay, when I, get, you know, when I go to bed, I'm going to have four more go to bed times, when we have four more sleeps. And so because they don't have a sense of time, um, they're going to continue to ask and ask and ask. And so letting them in on the baby idea as close to the time that you can would be helpful for them and for you. Let your child know what to expect from newborns, right? Talk about they sleep a lot, they cry a lot, they can't play games or talk, and grown-ups have to do almost everything for them. And if you have a friend that has a newborn baby, you can maybe arrange for a visit so that you can go over and show them what the newborn is like. The other thing he talks about is, you know, what, what do we do when we arrive home with a new baby? And I love this piece. He said, um, as a mother, he said, maybe not carrying that baby into the house, maybe giving the baby to somebody else so that then they can, so that the parent, the mother can give her attention to the other child that's there. Thought that was a great idea. Um, spend time with your older child, right? Have just you and me times so that they get to be just with you. Moments when you're listening carefully, even times when you're doing something simple, like zipping up your child's jacket, you can say, I still love you no matter what. Let your child hear you have a special place in our family. And the baby does too, right? We just opened up that triangle and made it into a rectangle or a square. Uh, let your child know it's okay to be angry, right? Or upset or grumpy about the new baby, but it's never okay to hurt them. Walk them through that. It's absolutely essential for them to know that you will not let them hurt the baby just as you will not let anyone hurt them. Um, we talk about that in the classroom. I talk about the kids. My job is to keep you safe. And if they're hurting a teacher, I say my job is to keep them safe too, right? We have a safety net here. Um, and so it doesn't just belong at a home, but it can belong in a school setting as well. Encourage your, find, encourage your child to find healthy ways to um, express their feelings about the baby drawing, having a baby of their own. Um, and don't be surprised if you might see some spanking, you might see some hitting, those types of things, um, because that's the child working through their feelings. Help your child feel proud of being the older one, right? Show your appreciation for all the things he or she can do for the baby, right? And the things that the baby can't do. Involve your child in caring for the baby, right? Getting the diapers, doing those things so that the child feels good. Um, like they are a part of things. So congratulations to all of you who uh, have a new baby or are having a new baby in the future. Um, but thinking about those other children and the impact that it's going to make in their life and what we can do as the adults in their life to help them um, move through that change. Have a great weekend, everybody, and thanks for joining us.